brain. As challenging and unpredictable as it is, even a driving rainstorm should never disrupt the flight of a falcon. Here on runway 21 at Cranfield Airport in the UK, dozens of runs test the behavior of the 7X on flooded runways and ensure that no water penetrates vital parts of the aircraft. The first series of runs reveals no problem. So Philippe Delume, Falcon chief test pilot, once again revs up the 7X to 105 knots. Finally, the engineering department decides to modify one piece of equipment, a door latch. A small detail, but at so, no detail is too small. Even in the coldest regions of the planet, your 7X has to be able to make a stopover and then take off again without a problem. And so the Dassault team headed to the far north of Canada. There they deliberately parked the 7X out in the cold, minus 33 degrees Celsius, and the mother nature provides a blizzard. Next morning, the team gets some unexpected exercise. But these extreme temperatures are ideal conditions to test the systems and the avionics of the 7X. In flight, the formation of ice on the airframe is a hazard that's well understood, but dreaded by even the most experienced pilots. With its aerodynamics artificially compromised, the 7X is flight tested. Then in a wind tunnel laboratory in Italy, engineers switch off the anti-ice heating system and simulate flight at different altitudes to study the formation of extreme ice. More than 100 flight hours have also been flown over Europe in the most severe natural icing conditions. Lightning. The effects of lightning were tested intensively on the 7X. All systems, including avionics, behaved flawlessly under all conditions. In flight, the airframe of an aircraft must be able to withstand extreme load conditions, exceeding six Gs, six times the force of gravity. Here in Toulouse, the 7X has undergone a torture test for months, representing the stress of three times its projected lifespan. These accelerated images show the amazing flexibility of the 7X wing. Deflection, more than eight feet at the tip. Some airfields sit high above the clouds. 
up where the air is thin, where landing and taking off can be difficult for big airplanes, except for Falcons. So last October, the 7X test aircraft number three crossed the Atlantic for the second time and continued west across the U.S. to the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. Uh, three, four, 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 and Falcon Whiskey got us here from the right of the These are the highest runways in North America. Altitude, 10,000 feet. At this high altitude, it's essential to check out all the parameters before the first takeoff. So during ground runs on the first day, engineers check the engine start in low density atmosphere. One by one, all aircraft systems are engaged. Heating and air conditioning meet all expectations. comes the moment of truth, taking off from a short runway with a high altitude thrust. Can this wide body business jet handle takeoffs and landings at 10,000 feet with the same safety and comfort it did at sea level? No question about it. The 7X performs with flying colors. <laughs> 